For two winters, COVID gave most community football the boot. Only now is it coming back in strength. But the virus has lingering after effects, and we are seeing them now as many older people lace up and get back on the field. It's the start of the second half in the top of the table over 35s clash between Penshurst West and the Arncliffe Aurora. And waiting on the bench this season are two opponents no one wants to face. Cardiac arrest exacerbated by COVID. We've unfortunately seen a few people that have had significant COVID infections that have run into trouble with cardiovascular complications. The ripple of COVID's effects in amateur winter sport is registering in cholesterol, sugar and blood pressure results needing follow-up from the Institute's at-ground heart health testing units. And what we're seeing is a, a spike this year, sadly a spike. And in some testing days we've had up to 50% of people tested. That is a concern. What would have been the rate previous? My high 20s, early 30s. Even with Shane Warne, he'd had COVID a few weeks before apparently he had his heart attack. So we don't know the severity of his COVID and what happened. But again, we can't be too careful about this. In the last 18 months, 11 amateur players along Australia's east coast have suffered on-field cardiac arrest, including 56-year-old Tony Donaskus. The other team smashed down the, the club door to get to the uh, defibrillator. We're just sitting right here. And, and basically, this is what saved my life. Many local parks now have defibs anchored nearby, but the effects of COVID now adds extra risk for some, especially older weekend warriors. The Institute's testing units heading to grounds in Melbourne and Brisbane over the next two months. Experts urging a heart check well before strapping on the studs. That's the number one killer of Australians and we need to do more to prevent it. When you play the sport you love, you should be able to come home to your family. Mike Dalton, Nine News. The cost of